At midnight, the dam did not scream, it simply vanished, and a wall of water came rushing towards sleeping villages that had no warning, no chance, and no escape. August 1975, Henan Province. Days of rain had already soaked the earth until it felt like a sponge pressed too hard. Typhoon Nina, weakened but relentless, stalled over central China, pouring down more water than anyone believed possible. Rivers swelled, reservoirs crept higher, engineers watched gauges climb and told themselves the structure would hold, because it had to. The Bangqiao Dam had been built as a triumph of human control, concrete against chaos, steel against flood. It was meant to tame the Huai River and protect millions downstream. And for years, it did. That confidence settled into policy, into silence, into a belief that nature, once mastered, would obey forever. But the rain did not stop. Hour after hour, water battered the dam's face. Spillways clogged. Emergency messages were sent, but some never arrived, lost in storms and political delay. By nightfall, the reservoir was holding far more than it was ever designed to bear. The dam groaned under pressure no one could see from below. Then, shortly after midnight, it failed. Not gradually, not politely. The Bangqiao Dam collapsed in seconds, releasing a tsunami of water taller than buildings. Entire villages disappeared before their residents could wake. Homes shattered like paper. Trees ripped from the earth. People clung to rooftops, to doors, to one another. Until the current tore them apart. And the horror didn't stop there. The collapse triggered a chain reaction. Dozens of downstream dams failed one after another, each adding more water, more force, more death. Flood waves raced across the plains at highway speed. In some places, the water rose faster than a person could run. In others, it lingered, stagnant, polluted, starving survivors of clean water and food. Days passed, then weeks. Disease followed the flood. Crops were destroyed. Entire communities vanished from maps and memory. The death toll climbed into the tens of thousands, then higher, so high it became difficult to say the number aloud. For years, the story was barely spoken of. No monuments, no warnings etched into textbooks. Just silence, settling like silt after the water receded. The Bangqiao Dam failure wasn't only a disaster of rain and concrete. It was a lesson written in water and loss. That confidence can become blindness, and that when nature is ignored long enough, it does not negotiate. If this story moved you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support helps keep these forgotten stories alive.